get into this lecture. We have three skills. One is Forest Echo, bongoing away, putting out those stiffness CCs, some of the shies we're using that to control the field. Sun's Fury, I believe, <laughs> is the one you were talking about. Minus 20% attack speed, cast speed, move speed, big debuffs coming out, 1,900. 1,093% seven hits, super armor as well, and the final one was actually one of their main skills for damage. Actually, I don't, I don't know if it's one of their main skills for damage, but Earth's Tremble, Stun CC, her second Stun CC in the kit, I think. Super armor as well, 1,000%, uh, uh, seven hits. So those are the three big bongo skills and that Shies do have to uh, use in their kit. But <laughs> that being said, the players are ready to jump into the next round. We're going to jump in there too and hop in. Uh, Felsong versus Wutar. Let's see if Felsong can turn things around or if Wutar is just going to pick up another easy win. Ladies and gentlemen, you've got two more clicks in the single digits. Eight is a good number. I don't know if we've actually hit one on attempt number eight. Have we? Let's look here real quick. We have. We've gotten one on attempt number eight. It is a good number. Let's see if we can repeat history and get another one on attempt number eight. Here we go in three, two, one. Holy shit, guys. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Oh my god. Yes, dude. We are fucking in good shape today, guys. Holy shit, man. Oh my god, dude. I can't believe it. Like, what a fucking... I hate... I've said this too much. Like, I noticed that my clips, I always say what a fucking day too much. It's like, I don't want to keep saying that, but god damn, dude, what a fucking day, man. Holy shit, guys. CC, or sorry, no damage connection coming out. And we'll hear on the back side. God, could you imagine if Spear Legacy was a CC? That'd be crazy. Please don't add that. Oh. And speaking of CC, <laughs> off the back of that Lentic, immediate air strike got by. 13 is considered to be an unlucky number, but, you know, let's go ahead and prove. Let's go ahead and prove those people wrong. Let's just get a pen on attempt number 13. Here we go. Three, two, one. There it is, guys! Holy shit, what a great way to start the day! Oh, man! Number 13! Nice, dude! What a start to the day! And unfortunately, off the back of that, has no V now. Massive day HP disadvantage, goes for the seal toss, trying to get cc there. Unfortunately, no connection. Shield charge forward, gets the grab off, Graveling on the ground, tries to go the secondary, gets the stun off, float reconnection, pushing, slashing, tries to burn out, and gets the kill! See damage. the damage, oh, and you damage. can already see the burst damage. Something we didn't see the, in the EU bracket. Apple Twinkle burns your attention down to 60%. Combo that comes out, away. boomerang Ooh. gets a kick on the ground. Down attacks, obviously not available on Shy. Down to 32. Says, eat this to Apple Twinkle. Gets a save from behind. One, two, second day, one, two, three. Didn't get the third float there, unfortunately. Another now really good up, Gets this. a heal off for a second there. Gets another eat this on the ground. Needs to be careful. That might be a KD kick. I'm actually not too care uh, for sure. Uh, a float. Float, it float, is right. a float. Yeah, it is a float. See, so it's gonna have the option to V out here. And now, Kitty Tenchi needs to be careful. 30%. That third boomerang came in. Almost burned him out. And as you said, I think in the EU bracket, you have to make sure you're placing your boomerangs correctly so you can actually live. And on the ground, spinning around, <laughs> kind of like how I grind my underwater. I'm waiting here. I believe that is a grinding combo a little bit. Wait, coming out from the shy there. It actually ends up killing him. Wait, <laughs> he ended up dying. Thank you. Holy shit. Oh my god. Yeah, that's very noticeable. Middle. 
dramatic chunk so far. Sansen right there, managed to eye from the end of the set there, turns his own descent back. Zaslav trying to block him, but it's going to be a little too early for the gap there. And now pushing forward, counter needs to be careful, is going to sit in that Owl's Breath and linger those tornadoes to go for the damage chunk. And now Fear, oh, unfortunately ends up eating a little of that. Oh, the Nado's oh. coming in. Fear running low, 5%, 10% goes for the counter. Zastra off the back of his descent ends up chunking Fear, and he's sitting oh, in the zone, fuck? and he dies no. in the zone. Trying to combo Zastra out. Flashbacks oh, a no. few matches ago. Fearomatic ends up killing himself. The, his own grab. I so hate it's just Gideos. kind of that, that counter counter grab uh, scenario that he's coming out on top. And honestly, I wish CP if, uh, fucking so like Kilstra, slammed bad, them. Takes a little bit of a slower defensive position in these matchups, and you know doesn't get. Big. Do I wear? Do I wear this one or do I wear that one? Do I wear this one, or do I wear that one? Ah, decisions, decisions. Hmm, this one looks good. Hmm, but this one looks pretty good too. Hmm. But you know, I do like the one with my motherfucking name on it. Oh, it feels good to be a tapper. It sure does. Come on, baby. Come on! Go, Pen! Oh, fuck. All right, let's head on to the next round of the first match of the EU Guardian semifinals. Raike has a 1-0 one, one lead right now over his opponent. Let's see if his opponent can turn things around. And already secondary round starting up here. Cal ends up popping his Awakening Guardian e buff early on here once again. That Awakening Guardian e buff gives you a little bit of increased movement speed. And on top of that, you do also get a lot more damage early coming out here. Gets the forward slide into the grab. That is going to be an iframe. Instantly pops the e buff for the combo. And just Cal not oh, expecting wow. it. Guardian has a KD grab. And if you do not V early enough, you will end up dying. And that's exactly what happens. Unfortunately, not quick enough on the trigger finger is going to end up dying before he can V. And I believe he's going to be going on to the grand finals off of that. Yeah, Rakai, I mean, again, coming out really well. His grab's not missing. I think he threw out four. Oh, guess the wake up grab onto CP. Initial damage coming in. WC, secondary. Needs to be careful. Secondary grab there. Burning him. Down the low, 30%, 20%. Oh and that is a KD grab. You can see how hard that damage is back. Bro, what is this ninja? Holy fuck! Oh my god, the heals! <laughs> Gotta love Cho Nation heals, man. They just built it, man. Out for it or clean up? Again, I think it comes down to that neutral game. Elida just showing. Side, you have the slower, more methodical, you know, chess like play style that you were talking about out of the succession. Awesome. And I hope to pull out, or I hope to see uh, those specs pulled out for this tournament. The opposite clashing styles is what I like to see. Um, let's check out the